April 27, 2011 left a mark on much of our team here at WZDX. Many in the Fox 54 family spent days after the storms cleaning up debris in their own communities in North Alabama. Our reporter Kelly Kennedy lived in Gunnersville at the time and our meteorologist Emily Owen lived in Oniana. They sat down together to reflect on that day. I'm joined by WZDX reporter Kelly Kennedy, and she's here to tell her experience from April 27th, 2011. Kelly. Yeah, Emily, so I know we both were taking shelter during these storms, and one of the main things I remember is the community aspect coming together. So, of course, it was scary. I mean, I've lived in Alabama my entire life, so taking shelter from tornadoes isn't something that I wasn't used to, but this is one of those that really has stuck out to me that, you know, you do remember and that you, you know, that just sticks with you your entire life. We were without power for like a week, maybe five days, maybe a little less than a week, but my house, at, at my house we had a gas stove and then at my church just five minutes down the road we also had a gas stove there and so my mom I remember her getting everything out of our refrigerator before it went bad and she was cooking everything on our gas stove yeah. and my grandmother did the same thing I just remember my grandma and, and her sister my great aunt they just cooked for the community we got coolers and got ice for them people would bring their food out of the refrigerators that was going bad and people just ate there throughout the yeah. entire week and so it was just incredible to see that. I mean, when you're without power for five days, you don't know where next meal is going to come from. It was just incredible to see that. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I was fortunate enough, I'm from the Oniana area, so Blount County. Um, and the storm that actually moved through Oniana, I think the most memorable thing about that was that was actually the storm that formed the tornado in Tuscaloosa. And if you remember, that was a EF4 tornado. Most of the fatalities from April 27th came from Tuscaloosa. And that storm kind of hit close to home for me because my brother was actually at the University of Alabama and I just remember we couldn't get a hold of him for five to seven hours. There was absolutely no cell service. I remember that actual storm that moved through Tuscaloosa passed over Aniana. My mom and I, we went outside to check everything to make sure we didn't have any trees down or anything. And I just remember looking at the ground and there were debris from Tuscaloosa. Like we had shell station receipts that said Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And I think it still brings chills back to this day. I remember looking up at one of our trees and we had the famous Alabama shaker. We had several of those in our trees and it, it was just it was just a weird day because I remember going outside and the sky was like an orangey red and it was just a sense of calm and peace because you felt like, okay, well, the tragedy is over, but then the next day everything just kind of came back because we learned that there were over 200 fatalities and just literally mass destruction from that day. And I remember I actually went to Pizza Hut with my friends after it thinking, well, nothing's really gonna happen here in town. So I'm just gonna go hang out with my friends and then I'll go home. Well, about that time I get home, I see the Tuscaloosa tornado moving through and my mom, my dad, or nor I could get a hold of my brother. And I just remember thinking, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know how I feel in this moment because he was there and it was so crazy because his apartment complex that he was living in actually just had minor damage, but two blocks down was complete destruction. Like everything was leveled and it, it was just, I, it's hard to explain uh, how I felt in that moment because you don't know what has happened to him or where he is or if he's safe or it, it was just, it was a terrible day. No, yeah, that's terrifying not mm -hmm. knowing and not being able to get in touch with them. I think a lot of people were impacted that day. Like you said, yeah. a lot of people probably didn't think too much about it. It's just going to be a storm. It'll be fine. Um, nothing's really going to happen. But mm -hmm. I think what we saw afterwards, I know I saw, especially in the Marshall County area and I think throughout North Alabama, we saw more storm shelters popping up after yeah. these uh, tornadoes swept through. And so I think it really did shake a lot of people up and and changed all of us, all in North yeah, Alabama. Absolutely, and it's hard to believe that this was actually, this will be 10 years this year for uh, that event to happen. And like we always say, it was a generational outbreak. So it's once, maybe even twice in your lifetime, you're gonna see something like this. Uh, but April 27th, even though it was such a horrific day, that was actually the turning point in my career where I decided that, hey, I'm, I'm gonna be a meteorologist because my focal point within my career is to 
save lives. And I just remember watching TV that day, watching James Spann, watching the Fox affiliate out of Birmingham, just how impactful they were with the community. And I thought to myself, that's exactly how I want to be. I want to help save lives and help inform people to get to their storm shelters and make sure that they're safe as well. Absolutely. And you're still, you're doing that today. Yeah. So. <laughs>